Thank you for waiting. Now we would like to have the next lecture. We will have the lecture by Mr. Karbe from Afro. He is been working on the development of the system, and now he is working on development of the study materials using the robots to provide enjoyable study, not only for the kids, but also for the grown-ups. And he has prepared something of fun today. So uh, today, the lecture is Learning MRuby with LEGO Mindstorms Education EB3. Mr. Karabe, please. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. The Learning MRuby's LEGO Mindstorms Education EB3, and I am Karabe from company Afrel. The company Afrel is a company that is making the educational LEGO Mindstorm, and we are the authorized distributor uh, within Japan for the Mindstorms. I would like to ask you. Those who have heard about Lego Mindstorms, please raise your hand. Oh, I'm very glad that many people raise your hands. And those who have used them, oh, there are so many. Thank you so much. So this Lego Mindstorm is made by Lego company. Like uh, Just like putting together the Lego block blocks, you can make a robot, autonomous robot. So we are the company that distributes or sells this product. The kit of this robot, we not only sell them, but uh, our slogan is to contribute to making the bright future society and the future is made by people. So that also means the development of human resources. These are the activities of our company. The business content of our company is mainly with the Lego Mindstorms. We are working on human resource development and there are three points. One is to make the educational materials like textbook, those for the children to use them at school or for the teachers at school to let them use for their classes. Also, not only for schools, but for the trainings for companies. We also create educational materials for them. And also we provide the trainings as well. And also we hold the workshops where they can study about the program just by children or children and parents can come together to learn how to make programs. And also we do have the planning of the robot competition, like a word, Robots Olympiad, double R-O. Lego is sold everywhere in the world, so it can be the standard platform. So the Robot Olympic Games, and we do the planning and also the management and also for the embedded engineers, we do have a, a event such as ET Robocon, and we are participating or supporting those activities. <clears throat> Many people raise your hands that you know about this Mindstorm. This is a kit that you can make autonomous robot. And basically, they are the computers within the arm. There are many sensors and they are being connected. And also there are motors as actuators which you can just plug in and connect them. You can freely make robots. So it's very easy to make something that moves very freely. So there is much fun. So for this milestone, not just uh, the hardware alone would not make the movement, we need to make the software. That's the standard one. This is for the children, for the elementary school or the junior high school or high school children. We provide the programming method which the icons can be connected in the software. So just by connecting the icons, you can make the softwares. 
and that will make the programming easy to enter and so easy to learn. By using these kinds of softwares and by moving the robots, you can learn about the way to solve the issues or also about the algorithm. So that's the first step. And recently, we are working on Topper's project on the HRP2 kernel and MRuby has been developed for that environment to move the motors and sensors. So by using this method, mainly for the high school children, we had made the educational materials. It's easy to use. You can just use all icons so people can have fun learning. Children can have fun learning the program, but when they start to learn the language, there is a big barrier in between. That's what I, we have been noticed in our long year experience working with children. So what kind of barriers there are? We can think of three. One is the instructor's problem. If it's uh, best if there's somebody very close to you that, you that can teach you how to make the programs, that will be okay, but not always. Also, there is the problem of the knowledge about the electronics and electricals and mechanical system. And thirdly, is the environment about the software development. So we need to solve those issues. So as for number one, about the instructor's problem. If there's somebody who can teach children very close, that will be fine. But it, if there are no such instructors, we need uh, to look at the textbooks and using the sensors and using the models. And they have to uh, follow the step by step. So uh, we have been uh, trying to make something that will enable people to make the instruction by following the step by step method. and. Uh, Children will learn how to make the software by the moving the icons. And there are these kinds of icons like bees, motors, will uh, move for three seconds with power 30 and stop. So this is a very convenient icon. So the children will learn how to make the softwares by make, using these icons. And if they write the program with MRuby, this will be like that, the motor's object that is specified. And the power is 30, so to delay for 3,000. So it is easier to attribute these ideas from the way they learn through moving the icons. And also on the icon, there are very convenient icons that like the motors B and C uh, can move for power 30 and move it for three seconds and make it stop. So that's uh, the icon named tank. So with a class tank. So you make the necessary object and the necessary methods are implemented. And by using that, the two models can be moved. And it's easy to compare the icons function to these programming language. So by having that, this is one method to solve the problems we have for the lack of instructors. And the next issue was about the problem of the knowledge about the electronics, electricity, and mechanical systems. The, if you want to move something on the hardware, you will put lots of sensor on the board. Uh, you will connect the motors. And in order to do that, the electronic and electrical knowledge will become necessary. So with the EB3, the mind storms, is just uh, can be moved just by connecting the motors and cables, so you don't need these kinds of knowledge. Of course, these are very important knowledge. So uh, later, it will be best if they can learn about it. But just by looking the EV3, if people or children can move something without having the knowledge. And since uh, by moving 
for the children who have operated the robots with the software. They are already familiar with the software, so uh, they sh are not captured by the hardware knowledge, so they can concentrate themselves on getting the knowledge of the softwares. And the third problem was the problem of the software development environment. This is a little bit of a problem because to if you are to install many softwares and make lots of settings that will be necessary. So people will have the feeling that they want to move something, but before that they will find it that there's no fun about it. But uh, we need to make the process very clear and easy to understand in so that the children will learn having fun. So since I have been talking through this, the target are mainly children, but for engineers who wants to start learning about MRuby or people who are not doing the embedded technology, maybe this might be another good tool for those people as well. And Matsumoto-san uh, gave us an endorsement saying that uh, MRuby is a Ruby process system that can also be used in the embedded system. And also, uh, this is a very strong power that the Ruby language can be used for web application development. The strong endorsements was given by Mr. Matsumoto. So I encourage you to please use this technology. And for the language programming to learn for the first one is uh, MRuby and Ruby. And to have fun was also mentioned in his opening keynote speech. And to have, adding to that, to have the fun that the robot starts moving so that by using these education tools, hope that will you can use it to develop the future engineers. Now, uh, before the end, I would like to make the demonstration in front of you. I brought the uh, robot here today, so I would like to show you how it, this moves. This robot has two motors, uh, which moves forward and backward, and there's another motor which uh, will, which can grasp something. And also it has an ultrasound sensor to measure the distance with the object. So if it works all right, please give me a big hand. And if not, again, give me a big hand saying that I tried very hard. So here's a pet bottle, the, the water, water. I put it right here. So there's a sensor. We'll measure the distance to the water bottle. And if it gets closer, the robot will grasp the bottle. Thank you so much. So uh, that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. So there is a big hand. It was a big success. Mr. Karube, uh, thank you for your lecture.